Awesome. So welcome to this Monday call. I know this is Monday evening in Australia and it is Monday morning here in North America. I'm Kat Gertson. Just for those of you who don't know, who have never been on one of these before, um, I joined with Monate on August 1st of 2015. Okay. So that was actually the very first day that you could join in Canada, I was a part of the Canadian pre-launch, which is what we are in in Australia right now. Um, it's called pre-launch. So I have been in the exact same kind of like boat um, as literally every single person on this call, because I was in a situation just like you where, you know, it was this like thing coming to Canada that no one had really heard of, or we didn't really know what it was. As a matter of fact, we had never even tried the products, seen the products. Money was only a year old when I, we decided to take the jump in. So I can tell you there also was not um, the same amount of like before and after testimonials around for it. Okay. Put it this way. When we, myself, my mom, my sister, and I joined money, they had done $25 million in sales. Okay. Money is now a billion dollar brand stepping into Australia. So I personally think um, that the it's a little bit more exciting to be joining it in Australia because you're not really trying like taking a chance on a unproven product and company. Like you don't just like stumble into a billion dollar brand because it's a mistake right? Like we're here to stay. We're absolutely fantastic. But one of the reasons that I, you know, I can't, I'm, like, I'm sorry, you guys, this is embarrassing. One second. I really usually have these all done, but I think I set too many today. Um, I did join money because I was like, okay, first off it's hair care. It's something people are using every single day. They're literally washing it down the drain right? So they're going to run out. And I'm not asking anyone to make this like massive lifestyle change, right? It checked that box for me because I was like, people are pretty much washing their hair every single day. So I'm not going to have to like get them to change anything about their lives. I'm just like saying like, take that bottle out and put this one in instead. Right. And you're going to see results. So I did, I did see the value in that. I wasn't just jumping into a company because I was in this like dire financial situation. I was in a very dire financial situation. Okay. I wasn't, I didn't just jump into something out of desperation. I actually jumped into something because I looked at it and I was like, this could be an answer, right? This could be an answer for me and my daughter. I am a single mom to a little girl who was three years old at the time when I joined money my daughter's father left when I was four months pregnant and we never saw him again. And please like, don't be like, Oh, I'm so sorry. like best freaking thing ever. Right. You never, you never know what you need until you get it. Right. And that is actually, was the best design for her and I, because I'm going to tell you those first three years of my life with her prepared me for everything I needed to be successful at this business. I'm going to tell you what a I'm going to give you my top three things that chancing out into being a single mom, uh, made me ready for this business. Okay. And why I really challenge every single one of you who are on this call and you're thinking about what I want. If I'm, can I do this business? Should I do this business? Um, I want you to look at back at the, you know, last few years of your life and really try to find those moments that you're like, this did, I had to have gone through this moment to prepare me for something bigger, right? Like I, there, I, I can't have gone through this just because I'm going through this. So the very first thing that, that it taught me um, there was that you, only those who matter, matter, right? So I, I went through, you know, becoming pregnant, not married in a small town where that wasn't okay. Okay. Um, but I really got to see that, you know what, at the end of the day, only those opinions that were really there to help mattered. 
and you'll step into this business and you'll really see that as well is that you know what there are going to be people that are going to doubt you you know what there are people that doubted the Wright brothers when they tried to fly the first plane right there are people who doubted anybody that tried to do anything remotely out of the norm in their lives right but it really taught me that first three years was that you know what the only people who opinion I actually cared about were the people that were willing to help. And I learned that in this business again too, right? So I was able to turn off the noise really easily. The people that laughed at me and were like, oh, I hope she doesn't lose too much money. I was able to be like, <laughs> you don't even know how much money you're going to lose by not saying yes, right? And I walked away with my head high because I'd already learned to do that. The second thing that I learned how to do, you guys, and I'm sure any single mom on here could understand this, okay, is I learned how to function so well with very little sleep. Okay. And I needed to learn how to do that with this money business, because if you have been in here for a second, you're going to learn about a thing called money insomnia, where your mind starts going. You're so excited about what is coming that you can't sleep because you've had this opportunity all of a sudden just like pop open and you're like, holy freaking cow. Yes. Motherhood was very different. I was sleep deprived for the very reason that because I had a newborn, right. But I did have a newborn business. It was this newborn business that I was so excited about. I was so nervous about because it was my new baby. I didn't want it to strip and fall. I was like, what college is I going to go to? Like I kind of thing, right? I had this new business and I was like, oh, let's go. Right. And then the third thing that those, those three, first three years with my daughter, um, before I found money have in common with the next six years after that, you guys, is that I learned a lesson in that, that you never, ever, ever underestimate how flipping beautiful something's going to be. Okay. I learned to look at every situation and understand that if it was being put in front of me, it was because I could go through it and I could do it and I could be flipping amazing at it. I learned that I was, I am an amazing mom. And that's someone who didn't even plan on ever wanting to have children. Right. But I had my daughter and I know I'm a badass mom and I am a kick-ass mom. But then I also now know that I'm a, meant to be a badass businesswoman, a bad ass entrepreneur, and that I can literally do every single thing that I set my mind out to do. Okay. So I'm going to talk to you just about a quick few reasons here. And I covered a few in my story. So I'm just going to kind of like highlight those ones um, as we go through, because I really am excited for you guys to get to hear from Belle. So one of the things that we really like to talk about is our product promise. I talked a little bit about that and the idea that like, it's something that people are using every single day, but I also really want to pay like really good notice to the idea that they are using, using safe and clinically tested ingredients, right? If you want to kind of peek into what that is, just go and type in on Google money scientific advisory board. Okay. You're going to see the massive, awesome, smart minds that are behind our products. And that was a big part for me to have trust in it because I understand that doctors, they went through a lot more schooling than I did. Right. And they learned a lot more than I know about certain specific areas. So if you really are wanting to look and see about someone go also and type in and search Antonelli Tosi, who is our, um, She's our trichologist on our scientific advisory board. Okay. And she is also one of the most published trichologists in the world and trichologists study hair and scalp disorders. So go and check that out and you'll be absolutely wowed by that. Understand and know that we are a family when it rate, when it comes down to how our business is ran and owned, our business is owned by a father and son. Okay. A father and son own this business. And this is important because you might be like, cool like happy for them. They own a billion dollar brand. Actually, what the really, 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 really cool part about that is, is that it is owned by two people. It's not owned by a board of directors. There's no investors in this business. Do you know who they come to and they talk to about the changes that are to be made in the field? Or if we need anything different, they talk to the field, you guys, right? They're not sitting there answering back to this boardroom that has a bunch of investors in it that care only about the bottom line. They care about us. And I can wholeheartedly say that as I've been 
I've had the opportunity to be a part of those meetings multiple times and being like, what do you guys want? What do you want to see happen? What do you want to see change? Because they're always looking to grow and get better. That's why we became a billion dollar brand in like seven years, right? That's why that happened. We own our own distribution and manufacturing. Uh, we actually have our own distribution in Australia. I'm sure anyone on this call will attest to that because their product packs came very quickly. Okay. Like <laughs> I'll tell you guys, they got their crap figured out for Australia because I actually hit the rank of MMB, a leadership rank in our company before my product pack arrived because that's how long it took in Canada. So you guys, like they they're not going to fool them twice. They figured that stuff out. <laughs> okay. Um, the next thing is, is that we do have an incredible customer program and I haven't actually talked too much about this before. And I'm just going to kind of grace over top of this because so many people count themselves out of this opportunity for a few different reasons. Oh, I've never tried the products or this, that, and the other. And I'm like, okay, well then we have a VIP program. And so coming November 1st in Australia, you can become a VIP. Okay. And so that is not right now. So please understand that is November 1st. You cannot do that till November 1st. So if you are wanting to get your hands on the best freaking shampoo and skincare to hit the shores of Australia ASAP, you need to become a market partner. There's no other way to get it faster. So please understand that because I doubt the market partner that's talking to you or sent you here is going to give you any of theirs because they can't order anymore until November 1st either. So... <laughs> understand <laughs> but we do have a loyalty customer program where you get additional savings you're going to get free gifts with your order you're going to have access to flash sales and all of those things and that's really exciting because you know everybody in australia probably saw in canada we had a flash sale on sleep drops this weekend right so once you guys go live and out of pre out of priest out of a uh, pre-launch you're going to have access to those things as well all right. And so then we have our morning gratitude and then we are global and growing. So we are a company that believes in giving back. So we have a gratitude program that has roots in every single place that we are, that we grow and that we go. Please understand that when you are stepping into money in Australia, please have the idea that, you know, whatever I give, I get back in return tenfold. Meaning that if there are organizations close to your heart, reach out to them and say, hey, money, it's going, it's coming here. And I would love to partner with you. How can we help? What do you need? Because that is what we are always working for. Um, here in Canada, in Edmonton, we partner with what's called Wings of Providence. And it is a woman's shelter. Um, it's actually one that is not subsidized by the government. So they don't get a ton of grants. They don't get a ton of things like that. And so we love to come in and help them there. We have provided them with um, Christmas presents and a Christmas party for now four years. We do Easter. We do back to school. We do all these different things for the women and children that are in that building, as well as are, we're constantly raising money. So just at the last money, we actually raised um, almost $3,000 for them just with that one event. So we tie it to every single event and money encourages people to tie, you know, school supplies drives. Um, they'll do drives for like women drives where they'll be like for diapers or sanitary nap, like all those different things. Right. So nothing's off the table. So just be thinking about things that if that gets you excited, be thinking about different ways that you can also tie your money business to that. But um, before I chat about the nitty gritty about what it is to be a market partner, I'm really excited to introduce you guys to Belle because Belle is Australian. She did join Team Impact a solid like what? Um, 11 days ago. Uh, so she's a senior vet in this. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited for her to come and tell a little bit about who she is and why she said yes to money. Take it away, Belle. Hey, thanks, Kat. Hey, everyone. So I'm sure a lot of you have met my really quiet friend, Tanya. She's really reserved. Yeah. <laughs> she's the quiet one of the group. No, so no, she's not. <laughs> yeah, so she went to, um, we've been friends for about 30 years, I reckon, close to. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she went to Canada five years ago ish, six maybe and um I've I remember her ringing me one time and I've never heard anyone be so excited about shampoo before <laughs> she was off chops going nuts about this Monate and um 
So I was like, well, hey, I wash my hair, um, gives a go. So she sent me some and then, um, you know, my kids wash their hair, my husband washes his hair. So we all started using it. And I always said to her, as soon as it comes here, <laughs> like we're going to jump on, right? Because we were VIPs, you know, getting 15% off, but why not get 30%? You know, we're using it anyway. So um, that's why as soon as it finally launched here, um, yeah, I jumped straight on. But, um, and then I've also had uh, a lot of their skincare, um, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm actually a mum of four. I'm in the army. I've been in the army almost 20 years and um, I was brought up by my dad since I was four years old. So I have no idea about skincare. And so, oh, I'll show you what I was using. Ready? Cat, you're gonna freak out. Okay, Sorbeline and baby wipes. This is my skincare routine. This was my skincare routine, <laughs> right? And so this was for once or twice, uh, once a week, once a fortnight when I actually wore makeup. Not that I know what I'm doing with that either. Um, or when I came back from field with the army and I need to take my campaign off my face, baby wipes, right? This was, oh, and I, in the shower, I used shower gel. <laughs> and then I come out and of course it's dry as, so I put Sorbeline on. So anyway, <laughs> last Friday night, I know I can just rant on what you're doing, what you're thinking. Anyway, so last Friday night, I said to Tanya, right, yep. And I was actually, um, this is how good she is. I was driving home. It's an hour drive. And I was like, I want to just quickly, I can't wait till I get home. I just cannot wait till I get home to join. And so she did it for me over the phone. She just set me up I'm like, yes, I'm in. <laughs> and then, um, so on the Saturday, cause it was Friday night. And on Saturday, I pulled out all my Monate skincare. <laughs> I took a video. I said, Tanya, right. I've got this. I don't even know all the names yet, but I'm like, all right, I've got this cleanser. I'm on videoing everything I've got. I've got this berry scrub. I got this hydrating essence or something. And I just took a video of everything that I had. And she just wrote back, wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? And then and then she wrote out every single thing that I need to do. And I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Um, all right. So then I quickly worked out that there's a cleanser on in the shower, right? So shampoo in the hair, cleanser on the face. Chill out for a few seconds. I have my, I have YouTube playing music in, on my phone while I shower. <laughs> Some singing, dancing. All right. Wash shampoo out, wash cleanser off. Do it again because you shampoo twice, right? I've learned that in the last few years. So second shampoo in, second cleanser on, chill out, dancing, wash, wash, rinse, and then conditioner in, berry scrub on. I'm like, oh, this is great. And then um, come out the shower and then this hydrating essence stuff on. And holy crap, that stuff just sinks in. I think my skin is extremely <laughs> dehydrated though. <laughs> and, um, so we love that stuff. And then um, and then I got this stuff for the eyes. So I, had, I put this, um, what's it called? Eye smooth. Eye smooth. Mm. So under here and here. Um, and with this really cool roll-on thing, which was so funny because I rang Tanya. I was like, what do you do with this? Like, what's this for? Like, I really don't know anything. So she told me what to do with that. And then I got this moisturizer. And like, for real, the first time I did that whole routine, no joke, I actually felt so feminine. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but I was like, this is amazing. And I kept touching my face and I'm like, oh, I'm probably getting it dirty. Um, yuck. <laughs> but, um, but I felt so feminine. And then it was for, um, you know, obviously um, do that sort of morning and night. And then um, after a couple of days, I was like, oh, I don't know if this is working. Like I'm getting all this. Is this like some spots on my face? What's happening? And do you know what I realized? And this is really gross. <clears throat> That's my actual face. That's what it looks like. It hasn't been cleaned properly <laughs> for like 30 years <laughs> or something. 
And I was like, oh my God, that's my face. All right. Hopefully my husband still loves me. Um, but yeah, so now, um, and then uh, it's been what, eight days or something now doing it. And it's, and it's so much better. And I really do love touching it <laughs> because it's, it's so smooth and it's so soft and it's really nice. And it honestly has never felt like this before. So um, yeah, I'm so glad that I uh, opened all those boxes. <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. <laughs> Um, it's really good. But anyway, the reason that I actually, well, I've joined because I'm using the, I was using the hair care anyway, right? And um, want to get a discount because I'm using it anyway. So why wouldn't you? And then of course, pre-launch, join as a market partner and you can uh, be eligible for founder shares that Tanya's almost got. And um, so, yeah, so that's my plan. So heading for that level and uh, one step closer to it now after six days. And um, my end game, my end game is that I, um, I want to work from home. I want to work hours inside the school hours. Um, I want to volunteer at my kids' tuck shop. Like, well, they call it a canteen here. I don't know, um, you know, the place they get food at lunchtime. <laughs> at school I want to volunteer there and I'd love 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 to go work or volunteer at like an aged care place and call the bingo numbers I don't know if you guys got bingo cap call the bingo numbers drive the bus to the shops you know take them all out and just hang out and stuff all day that is what I want to do so bring on <laughs> founder shares but I just think like what have you got to lose right and I'd absolutely kick my butt if I missed out on this. So I'm using the stuff anyway. Bonus that it's just a great product and it works. <laughs> Yay. You know, awesome that the company cares about the planet and its people and sustainability and not hurting animals. Like all that's just a bonus. So um, I think that's it. That's me. That's me in a nutshell. Well, I freaking love it because honestly, I felt like I was hearing from myself, honestly, like six years ago, because I have, I have dubbed myself a recovering dirty girl, right? Because, and when you actually, when you started to talk about the femininity that you started to feel, I also felt that when I first came into this company, because I'm a female professional hockey player, right? Like I, I don't, I didn't, I, I didn't have that, like that feminine touch to me, right? Like it wasn't like until I actually became a mother that I felt any kind of femininity in my life. So when you said that, where there was that like self-care piece in that moment of dancing in the shower with the stuff on and you come out and you're like, oh my gosh, right? And I'm a recovering dirty girl. So I don't judge you on your face wash routine prior to this before, because you were actually ahead of me because I just didn't do it. I would like, it was for me before it was like, I was getting a bonus by being able to have my makeup last like three days because I didn't take it off. Right. So that's, I'm even grosser than you, Belle. So don't worry. <laughs> um, but I want to chat about this market partner part and this founder part that Belle mentioned. Okay. Because number one, she made the most amazing point where she was like, okay, I'm going to be using this stuff anyways. I'm loving the results of this and I'm most likely not going to be sitting under a rock and not talking to anyone about this because when someone says oh my gosh I love your hair she's probably gonna be like oh I use Monet right if that is what you will say you need to be a market partner I'm just telling you this right freaking now if you are the type of person that's just going to be like if someone says oh I love your hair and you're just going to be like thank you and then run away. Yes, wait and become a VIP on November 1st. That's okay. We, we don't need you to do that, right? We're never going to beg anyone. But if you're the type of person that's going to be like, oh, I use money because, and how you'll know if you're that type of person is if someone says to you, oh my gosh, I love your jeans. And you're like, oh my gosh, thanks. I got them. And guess what? They were on sale and they have pockets, right? If that's how you answer things, if you're like, oh, I got them here. I'm that person, right? Someone's like, oh my gosh, I love your sweater. I'm like, hey, got it at this place. Got it on this boutique. Ooh, let me send you the link. That's like how I rock and roll in my life. 
because sharing is caring, right guys? And we love a good reason to bring out our credit cards, right? Like I love that. <laughs> so that is how you kind of decide if like, okay, can I do this? Because I really do believe that people put so much freaking pressure on themselves when it comes to this business that they have to like, all of a sudden become something that they are not stay who you are and freaking rock and roll and succeed as that person. Not for a second. Did I think I had to become someone that I am not, I am not a girly girl. I'm not a fashionista. I am a mom who loves to freaking coach hockey and volunteer at the school. Like I was like, when Belle was saying that, I was like, that was like one of my biggest things was to be able to like, just like when they send out the thing being like, we need helpers at school tomorrow. And you're like, yes, sign me up. I'm there. Right. I wanted to be able to do that. And I'm freaking doing that now. Right. I'm on the bench for her hockey. I'm working with our goalies at our, on her hockey team. Those types of things are what you get in this business as well. When you say yes. Right. And I'm not going to go and say to you guys that this is something that it's super easy to do. It's simple. I think every single person on here who is working this business can attest. It's quite a simple process, right? Is, is it easy? No, it's not easy. Okay. So I didn't get lucky. I don't have it easy. I didn't have anything like that. I worked my freaking butt off and I love supporting other women who want to work their butts off for something bigger than they ever dreamed because they're actually, it's what they deserve. And we never, ever, ever can dream and visualize what we actually deserve. Cause it's always going to be bigger than you imagine. Just so you know that. Okay. But understanding also that there is zero commitment to this. So when you're stepping into money, you're not stepping into something that's saying like, oh, hey, you also have to make this monthly order. You have to do X, Y, and Z to keep being a Monate Market Partner every single month. That's not the case. There's no monthly orders to make. Guys, that was the biggest deal for me right there. That was the absolute biggest deal was that I didn't have to place a personal order every single month. I only order product when I need to order product right? I don't have to be garage rich is what we call it in Canada, where we have like, you know, garages full of product because that's what we have to do. Right. I also, it's a, it ships right straight to the consumer. So I'm not out taking time away from my daughter to go and deliver things. I don't have to do parties. So I'm not taking time away from my daughter to go do a party every single freaking night of the week right? Because if you were in a party plan company, like, you know, that's what it's going to take, right? You have to be out there. And I'm like, I don't have to do that. What do I do? What do I do? And how do I work this business? How do I go and earn the 30 to 40% commission? And then the downline bonuses and the rank advancement bonuses and those freaking founder shares, because I'm going to tell you, you want a piece of the pie and a billion dollar brand when they're going to offer you up a piece of it, right? So what do I do? Like I said before, I started my business by offering a seat on a rocket ship because that's what this freaking is, right? And a rocket ship doesn't have a thousand seats on it. If you guys have ever seen a rocket ship, right? There's usually about eight people that walk out to go and jump on the spaceship, right? I had that and I got that and I offered that and eight when I'm, I think I had 10 people take me up on it in my first three months, being honest with you guys. Okay. Three months in 10 people said yes to get on that rocket ship and that rocket ship, um, with those 10 people starting off, I can tell you have made me over a million dollars. Okay. They've done that. They brought me home to my daughter. They have helped me in this business because I said yes, has brought over 10 women home to their children, retired fully into their businesses, right? Another 45 people part-time home to their children or wherever they came home to, right? My sister, she didn't come home to her children, but she retired, she retired herself, right? She doesn't have kids, but um, it brings a lot, okay? It brings a lot more than you could ever imagine. And not everyone wants to quit their job. Not everyone wants to like leave the career they're currently in and that's okay. But I guarantee you every single person out there has a question mark that needs to be answered. Right. They have that. So I'm going to open up if there's any questions here. Hello, Hello it's Jody. Oh, 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 o
Listen, just a quick question. I'm on the road for work tomorrow, heading down to Hobart, so going to put out some feelers, Ooh. some innate feelers. <laughs> I might be asked the question, are the products any good for people who wear hair pieces? Oh, yes, they are. Let me tell are you. They? Yes. Okay, so I'll explain this to you right. next, and I'll kind of share this with you all here. Okay, so hair pieces and extensions are made from usually real hair okay but it's real hair that is not attached to a scalp which is not getting that daily momentary like every moment oils from the scalp to keep that health and everything going okay so as someone I'm not just speaking out of my ass here you guys um Tanya will tell you I had extensions for like two years just because I wanted to see how our products worked with them I actually took my extensions and I put them through absolute hell Okay. I'll tell you that. Right. I went, I had two wefts of extensions. Um, and I had them where my hair was like down to my waist. Okay. When I sat down, my hair was down to like where my, my legs meant my gut <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> right. And the best the thing that I can tell you about these products, when it comes to hair pieces, wigs, extensions, all of that stuff is that it's actually going to take your hair and it's going to hydrate it. Okay. And understand there is a difference between hydrating and moisturizing. Okay. Moisturizing is like when you put cream on your skin, right? Hydrating is like when you drink the proper amount of water every single day, which I'm sure every human on earth fails to do. Right. But it's that, that difference there where our products have the ability to penetrate into the hair shaft and not just help hydrate, but also help repair all those things. So people are finding that, and I can speak mostly to extensions, but I know that people are from what would usually get about six months out of extensions with proper care are getting a year, right? They're getting a full year. And I can tell you extension hair, um, hair pieces and, uh, wigs and stuff are not cheap. Like my extension hair cost me $1,200 when I put it into my hair. You better believe I want to make it go as long as I possibly can. Um, mine went longer than a year. Um, I did take it out, take them out and put them back in. I dyed them three different colors. I had them done. Like I put heat to them, but, um, yes, and long story short, yes, they do. If they want to know more about that, you can tell them about how they can actually penetrate the hair. I hope that helps answer your question there and gives you the juice you need to be like, heck freaking yeah, it does. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Excellent. Thanks so much, darling. Awesome. Other questions, guys? Tanya? Yes. Hello, Dar. So Lovely. I've got a question about the purple shampoo. Yes. Can you just go over why we don't have a purple shampoo and why we don't need one? Exactly. Okay. I love this question because we actually did have a purple shampoo momentarily with Monet. Okay. Um, we did have one for a little bit. We don't anymore, but I can tell you as someone who went blonde with our products, if you notice, I'm not naturally blonde, right? You can tell it my eyebrows that I have the color that matches me now. Right. Um, but I decided to, uh, go platinum ish blonde at about my, uh, one and a half year in with money. And we didn't have purple shampoo then. Um, what our products actually do is a lot of times products that we use have waxes or silicones in them. Okay. If you're using something that has waxes or silicones in it, you're never going to get your hair to be that, like rid of that brass because, you know, environmental elements are going to stick to the outside of your hair. Even if there's not waxes or silicones, a lot of the times when you have blonde hair, that brassiness isn't going to come just from, you know, your hair color needing to be toned again, because let's understand a purple shampoo is not a toner. Okay. I think there'll be, if there's hair stylists on here, they'll be happy to hear someone actually say that because TikTok and Instagram has made people believe that a purple shampoo is just like a toner and it's not it doesn't actually like, it's not, they're not the same thing. Right. So realistically, besides using a toner, what money is going to help you do is to clean your hair. It's not going to go and have that buildup on it. It's not going to have that tingy buildup to it. That's going to have environmental pollutants stick to it. Right. And it's actually going to help maintain the integrity and the color of the hair. So your hair isn't going to get dried out. If you've seen what dried out hair looks like, it looks very different in color to healthy, vibrant hair. 
right? Like we, we can see the difference in that as well. So will there, will we ever have another purple shampoo again? Probably. Will it be absolutely necessary that someone with blonde hair uses it? No. Right. When you use, um, I personally liked to use our black two in one as a first wash when I had blonde hair, right? Cause it was, I would say our most cleansing. Now we have you guys. And as the more and more products get released in Australia, you're going to see, we have more and more products. We have our micellular, which is a great cleansing shampoo. We actually have two apple cider vinegar products, but there's a scrub and a shampoo, which I also really, 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 really like. Right. And so there's all these like more clarifying products that you're going to come across. That's going to be a great kind of substitute. Um, but nothing will replace a good, having a good tone done by your stylist. Okay. Like that's going to be the, if you stick with your toning every six weeks with blonde hair, and then you stick with products that are good, clean, do not cause buildup. You're going to be happier than you ever could be than with purple shampoo. And our products are less, if you've ever used purple shampoo before, it's so drying. I don't know if anyone here like feel how drying purple shampoo makes their hair. You're not going to have that feeling, but you're going to have really vibrant, bold things. And also understanding too, that some hair pulls warm, no matter what the heck you put on it. I'm a ginger. Okay. So when I was blonde, you better believe brass came out because I'm warm. I pull warm on every single thing. My face, it looks like I constantly, I go up the stairs, you guys. And I look like I just ran a 10 K cause my face gets so red. Like that's the ginger life for me. Okay. Like that's just how some people's hair also works. So I'm not going to try to say that you can outsmart genetics either. <laughs> I hope that, is that Tanya, does that help that a bit? Awesome. Any other questions guys? Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I did. I'm giving away a little travel skincare. Yes, you are. So I did. I've put everybody's names in here and I've already done the random name picker. And the winner is Delicia. Delicia. Did I say that correct? I hope so. Delicia. You sure so did. If you, okay. If you just reach out to the person who brought you here and um i'll get that through to you awesome awesome, awesome. i think this is really happy just like hi it's me it's me contact me oh, awesome <laughs> um fantastic and um if anyone remembers from if you weren't on last week we are on a personal mission to get 100 people on a call so if you are a market partner when we hit that 100 mark um in us if you're a market partner in australia when we hit that 100 mark you'll be going in for a draw for a brand new dyson blow dryer so you don't want to miss out on that because i don't know if you have seen the dyson new one that's coming out with that new attachment but it is the best 600 dollar blow dryer you're ever going to get your hands on let me tell you that <laughs> Um, so with that, you guys, I hope you have the most amazing Monday night. Uh, I'm really excited to get my Monday started over here, <laughs> and um, but let's rock and roll. And also, I just want to also just kind of touch today. Today is Canadian Thanksgiving, and I we are so thankful for you guys over there. Um, we cannot wait to meet all of you. We cannot wait to be able to come and travel over there and literally meet every single one of you because it is going to happen, um, and we are going to be coming over there in first class because I'm going to be having a, a plane with a bed on it because I'm not making that plane ride without a bed um, but that's what we're doing so I cannot wait to see you guys um when the time is right we will be there and we will party so I hope you're ready because us skirts and girls really like to party so <laughs> with that you guys we'll talk with you all later have the best week bye bye